Hey guys, it's June again. So for those of you who are using GrooveMail, if let's say you don't um you you are using GrooveMail and then you see there's a notification that it says that you haven't really verified your sender's identification or your sender's identity, this is what you need to do next. Okay, I need you guys to go to your Groove funnels and then just hover over your Groove Mail. Okay, and then when you're at a group mail, I want you to go to settings. All right, click senders. And that is where that you're able to add a new sender. Like if let's say you don't have a new sender and then you haven't really verified your sender identity, you are not going to be able to send out um, any emails, right? So let me just like enter send, sender identity can be like anything. So just put uh, if let's say it's just like one of the demo i want to put right so this is just the name let's say it's jun lao and then let's say um sender's email it's uh let's say it's called rough my email i have <laughs> everything okay admin hello at okay admin at junlo.co i haven't created so but let's see okay reply e sender's email is where where you want to send from and then reply email is let's say your um your client when they receive your email when it hit on the reply button to your email what it will be the default reply to so let's say usually it will be the uh, same one so if let's say this senders um it will be the default email um that you'll be sending out all your emails you can tick on on otherwise you can just maintain this off right so if let's say there's any business info you can just uh, click in here okay so and after that you you just hit on save okay uh, so it is required fill so you can just fill in unsubscribe company name let's say is junlao.co and address is let's say testing address okay you just input your address your company address right there and hit on save so when you're here right you guys probably will see that um this is what we said just now and then the verify here is no and the default is no as well because i did not set it as my default message right so what you need to do right now for this email that i just created right groove mail will be sending an email to this email address okay it will be sending an email to ask you to kind of like click on a link to verify it's just like whenever we create a new account in any like the gmail or yahoo mail or hotmail they'll be sending an email for us to verify as well so what you need to do right now is just to hop on to this email address and then you just click on to verify your email all right so so right now, I already logged into my email account admin at junlo.co, right? So I have received one email from GrooveFunnels, so it's called email verification. So what you need to do next is actually just to hit on this verified button. Okay, let's see what is it right now. Right now, it's actually verified no, right? So as soon as I hit the verify here, it will say that verification is successful. So let's hop on back to my GrooveMail and then let me refresh. So right now from the no, it become yes. And then that is how you're able to verify the sender's identification in GrooveMail. And I hope that you like this video. All right, take care. Bye.